Hey there everybody, welcome back to the Indecisive Collector. My name is Nancy and it is Thursday today, so that means a new library showcase book. Today I have the Element Encyclopedia of Secret Signs and Symbols. That is because I started doing a few reviews on some of the Element Encyclopedia books I have and I barely found this one lurking around in my bookcase. I hadn't seen it in a while, so I'm going to show it off to you all today and talk about it and tell you all what I think of it. So I love this book. It is super fun and like most of the Element Encyclopedia books that I have shown to you all, it is very helpful if you are an artist, writer, whatever. Um, this book has a lot of different cool things in it about secret signs and symbols. Obviously it says so on the front. It has all kinds of symbols in here. And it can be anything from the cross from Christian uh, lore, or it could be anything that has to do with a ladder or a horseshoe. Like, I will read a couple, one or two excerpts here for you all so y'all can read it. But on the back it does say, Unlock the ancient secrets behind the world's signs and symbols. In this book, you will find the definitive A to Z guide to the ancient meanings of signs and symbols some of which have been lost for thousands of years. From different cultures and religions across the world, here are signs of magic and mystery, secret alphabets, scripts, and numerology. Find out why Masonic temples have black and white checkered floors, where in the natural world the golden mean can be found, why the pentagram is considered a magical symbol of power, and more. It even has stuff about mazes, like the maze is something that can be considered a secret sign or a symbol. Crystal balls, a daruma, I'm pretty sure I said that wrong, the Venus symbol, it has pretty much everything. Like for a ladder, it says, an everyday object, the ladder nevertheless has esoteric, has esoteric meaning as an aspect of the relationship between heaven and earth. At its most basic, the latter is symbolic of ascension, transcendence, and the fulfillment of potential. The Greek word for ladder is climax. A ladder is also synonymous with the idea of communication between the worlds. The notion that the material and spiritual worlds used to be con connected by a ladder that was either removed or broken is a common symbolic thread r running through many cultures, although the Shinto faith says that the god, the goddess Amarat, Amaratasu, ah, sorry, Amaratasu, that was awful, I'm so sorry, who borrowed the magic ladder, kept the connection. The ladder sometimes depicted on the tracing boards of Freemasonry signifies initiation and penetration of the higher levels of the cosmos. A rainbow also serves as a ladder or bridge between the celestial realms and the ones below. And that is not all. It has way more on the ladder too. And it I really like that. I've never knew anything about a ladder being symbolic at all in any way. To me, it, it's just a ladder. It's something I'm very afraid of because I'm afraid of heights. But this book is really cool and it's really great to use if you're a writer because of metaphors or if you're an artist and you want to try new and different symbols out. Uh, in your artwork. This is really helpful. It has a lot of information in it. And I really suggest it to you all. I will put a link down below in the description to help you all find it on your own. And I got mine at Half Price Books for like $7.99. I will try to find a not expensive one for you all. This is not sponsored. And as usual, sorry about it looking not great. I love my books so much and I take them everywhere with me. So some of them are kind of messed up because of that. I go on many adventures and I bring these lovely things with me and sometimes I get wrecked and I get sad but that's what happens when you love your books. Thanks so much for watching guys. I really appreciate that you have been watching this uh, Thursday Library Showcase. If you like my suggestions or if you have suggestions of your own please let me know in the comments below. I'm always looking for new reads and soon I will be posting a video about how to find inexpensive books because I love books a lot and I love helping people find cheap versions for themselves. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you all later. Bye!